What's up world? How's everybody doing today, tonight, tomorrow? As I always say, whatever time, realm, dimension you're living in. I hope you're doing great, feeling blessed, no stress. Hopefully you don't live over close to Yellowstone and the big old super volcano. Recently, seismic activity in Yellowstone has been cranking off. There's been a couple times where they even closed the park. It's been an off and on kind of going thing going. Uh, even the New Madrid fault line has cranked up a little bit more than usual, but Yellowstone is usually very, very small quake activities, you know, just little 1.1s, things like that, 1.0. Now, we're not talking about it's gone off the Richter scale here, but it's gone up a bit. It's gone up a bit to at least be noticed uh, by people, and I think also it's been noticed by NASA. Now, recently we know there's been this giant lake of the molten carbonate found. All right, along with the super volcano. Now, this molten carbonate is about the size of Mexico. All goes throughout all these other states, big underground lake, basically. But the main pocket is right underneath Yellowstone, right there in that big super volcano, which is way overdue to go popping its lid. 640,000 years ago is estimated to be the last explosion or last eruption. And y'all, we are way overdue. And you can call this what you want. You can say this dude's off his rock or whatever. This is just part of nature. This is part of life. This is a natural cycle. It happens. Volcanoes go off. This isn't false flag. This isn't elites, you know, doing some trickery. But I do have to say, now, do you think if they knew they would tell us? Or do you think they wouldn't? I'd have to go they wouldn't. You know, you have to look at what the elites have been doing recently, buying all these bunkers, you know, getting all the prepped up and ready. It seems like they know something we don't. You look at the way people have been moving to certain areas, especially ex-military, uh, the Missouri Ozark Mountains, places like that are packed with ex-military. I don't know if it's just a nice place to retire or they know something we don't because a lot of people have said if you're going to bug out, that's one of the best places you can go to. Um, now, NASA has broke out SOFIA. SOFIA is their infrared observatory plane. This thing doesn't get broken out for just anything. It doesn't just, hey, you know, let's just fly over and look at some cornfields or something. No. When they break this thing out, there has to be a pretty damn good reason. It's probably not the cheapest thing to run, but, you know, we pay for it, so who cares, right? Now, this thing's been flying over at least for the past four days steady. Like I say, this activity's been cranking up, and this isn't the first I've heard about this. WTF put out a video not too long ago, kind of stating the obvious here, a couple of History Channel documentaries on the Super Volcano, the Weather Channel stuff they've done. I don't know if you've ever checked this channel out. He's got some crazy stuff on there, but it's pretty entertaining. Plus, he has the best intro I've ever seen. It's hilarious, and it's kind of, it's got some kind of jam to it, you know what I mean? That's my, that's my white guy jam. How's it going? Want a buggy? Alright, let's get down. Alright, y'all. <laughs> so, but like I said, for this thing to be flying over Yellowstone, and you can track it yourself, there's a program out there, the name is slipping through right now, but you can actually go on and track these planes, and you can see, this thing's basically flying right around the rim of Yellowstone, the perimeter of, of this underground lake and we are way overdue and the scary part is on something like this like I said the elites they'll be prepped and ready but will they let us know maybe at the last second all-out panic while they're locking the doors to their bunkers so advice I can give people with something like this pay attention to it do it yourself go on you can look up all these things yourself you can actually track the seismic activity in Yellowstone you can track these planes yourself you can do all this at home and I suggest you do it you pay attention because they're not gonna just let us know and let everybody give enough people time to actually go grab them by the throat and choke them out because they didn't tell us so be ready this is where I talk about having these bug out bags and then always about elites and world conquering and this and that Sometimes it's just about what nature brings you. And just like what I always say about we never know what tomorrow brings or takes away, we don't know what nature does either because nature works on its own scale. Now, there are other factors that go into this that I do 
my little hamster starts cranking on, like things like CERN, doing the things they do, fracking, you name it, all these things that go on that we are starting to learn could have some uh, consequences to seismic activity. When it comes to CERN, we've realized the things that this, that CERN and actually all these other particle colliders, these 300,000, do to Earth is quite strange. From the atmosphere to the ground to weather conditions, and we don't know. These things cranking up, they could just do something. They could just basically amplify the usual cycle, and this thing could pop off at any time. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm not trying to go off my rocker here. So before everybody starts hating and flipping out on me, calm down. I'm just saying there are these possibilities. We know these machines can do strange things to the earth. And we talk about all these carbon emissions and all this stuff and global warming and all that. And we never talk about these machines that we've built and what they're actually doing to Earth. So, guys, I just want to give you a heads up on that, though. Like I said, do your own research on it. If you don't believe me, go on there and look for yourself. That's something we can't toy with. If Yellowstone pops... We're talking about a worldwide event. This isn't something localized. Now, yeah, if you live in the area, I don't know if there's much you could do. You better hightail it out of there. But people like me down in Florida, yeah, we may be a ways away, but we're still, we're talking about a volcanic winter like that. So keep your eyes open. If I hear anything new, I'll be letting you guys know right away. Uh, this is something I've been kind of interested in, and I noticed... For the past couple of weeks, it seemed to be amping up, especially on YouTube and news, other underground news areas, truth movements, things like that. That's really the only place you're probably going to get warning about something like this. So, I'll let you guys know if I hear anything. As always, thank you for all you guys do. Sorry, somebody was pulling right in front of me. I didn't even use a blinker. It'll make me mad. Choke somebody. <laughs> Anyways, I'll holler at you guys later. And as always, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay incredible. See ya.